All right, now I was taking out the oil. There's the oil, the cooling oil inside this compressor or the engine. Let's call it that way. So at this moment, I'm going to cut it following this welding. Okay, then we're gonna to see together what kind of uh, motor they use inside. All right. I am inside now. So here is what we found from inside. So I am disappointed because what I found in here, uh, so I'm gonna make noise a little bit. Yep. Look what happened to this motor. Look at this. It's overheated. And the line which is overheated, that's the one which has thick wire. So the one which is fine, that's the inner wire or the starting wire, which is very small. So, but anyway, you know, in this channel, we convert anything that has winding, even a little winding into a generator. So I promise you that I'm gonna do what I can just to produce some electricity from this winding. Even though it's badly overheated, look at all the plastic overheated, melt all of them. Look at this. Uh, okay, but with the process we're going to use here, <clears throat> if you have the compressor like this, which is normal, I believe that you're going to get more electricity from it. Because these motors, they're very strong because this winding here, it has very thick wire, okay? So don't worry about the, the results we are going to get from here, but the only thing you have to focus is the process, okay? Because this, what you're going to get, maybe is going to be bigger than this. This is small, you can see with my hand, okay? But now, we have to deal with this and it's not going to end here in the next video we're going to convert this see what i did i take it out nicely i did not cut anywhere else so this you can make a pump or a compressor pump from this this is the output and this is the input but anyway let's keep this aside because for now we're not going to need all of this and let's take this out. All right, now we have this only. Well, we have to check. Put it there on a the buzz. Then now, black here. So if you take a look at this, wires you see that there's a black the middle one is red and another one is not labeled so black is the the middle this red one that's a thick wire and this one with no color or we can just say it white is going to these small wires okay so we're going to check this black wire and the middle wire which is red the thick wire the one which is gone so you can see there no count that means it's completely gone that wire is gone all right now let's check red in the small wire see there getting for the two that means our winding with a small wire it is fine so no problem we're going to deal with the small wire. So let's do this. Let's take out this. And that. All right. All right. So because red is not joining us, we'll take it out. So we only have these two wires. Okay. Now. Let's talk about the magnet. This is how you have to arrange your magnets. 
this is a north pole all of these eight magnets okay a uh, north pole and another eight magnets on the other side is south pole in short i can say with this design can you see that you see how this looks like and the small one i hope you know this kind of design so this only need two poles but in those two poles must be very strong okay so that's why i have to add four magnets or i have to put four magnets or eight magnets one side just to create single pole and another eight magnets another side to create single pole all right so without wasting much time let's put all of this together and see how much voltage we are going to get even though we're not going to have a stronger current but the only thing i need you to do is to learn or to know how you can arrange your magnets in this kind of uh, status okay so next time when you got lucky you see a fridge compressor or any kind of compressor like this aircon compressors the designs are not much different the only difference is that aircon compressor they are the motors they are very long like that but now the fridge the freezer whether it's a deep freezer this is the design they use inside okay so the arrangement of the magnets is the same like this one here okay just two poles but those two poles must be very strong thank you now let's put all this together make sure this is at the middle now i'm done the whole setup but i'll show you this again because this motor looks like it's gonna give me a problem so one more time to check well this line is fine but now this one the red one see that which is a problem make sure that when you're measuring your wires uh, you did this check each and every wire to the body or to the frame when it's uh, making this noise you have to check somewhere else that means that winding of uh, that wire is touching this so it's not supposed to be like that because when it is like that so you can see this it's not going faster see that same time i stop spinning it it is stopping same time well i'm still disappointed with this motor but all i am asking from you is to follow the procedure anyway we're going to produce some power with another winding so i am going to be careful not to touch this okay at least i have to do something than just to stop because i already started this video okay so i'm gonna use the rope just to see how much voltage we can make and if we can be able to power something with that winding i don't know if it has some other problems but i'm not sure I have to apologize for that, but as long as you see the procedure, I hope you learn something. Oh, now, okay. What if I can put it like this? Yep. Ready? For the seats. Well, but we're still having a problem inside. Oh man, I'm disappointed. Very disappointed. Ah, okay. I see anyway. Let's try to connect one light bulb if we can be able to light it let's see together uh, this i was so happy about this project now this happened anyway you know anytime when you're ready for something and the other thing always come up right let's see if we can be able to power at least one light up oh my all right ready well oh 
okay so now we've seen the light went on now i connected all of these together let's see if i can be able to power them all okay i'm disappointed not happy but anyway as long as someone out there he learned and he saw how to convert the compressor motor into an electricity uh, electricity generator i will be happy with that but now i'm still disappointed so let's see maybe that disappointment is going to go away if this is going to be on ready oh yeah <laughs> okay okay one more time all right one more time let's see uh, connection is fine ready okay right uh, okay now let me stop there because this thing i have to do one more trick but that is not going to be in this video i hope it is long enough so what am i going to do see as i said because all of this problem is coming from this winding the one which is overheated so i'm going to take my time to cut it nicely without cutting those small ones i'm going to take out all of this winding so we're going to run it again i hope with that it's going to be uh, it's going to give us a normal voltage output you are going to see uh, yeah okay so for now if you can allow me i apologize for that but i promise i'm going to come back with this video okay just look out in the next post i'm going to clean it up take out all of this winding and leave that winding which is fine okay forgive me for that but at least you know where are we coming from thanks for watching